Hello everyone. I'm just working on fixing the textures for a character. I want to give him a blue shirt and a different color tie. And I get a lot of questions about textures in my Maya tutorial. And the reason why I haven't really gone over it is because it's it's not as streamlined as uh, you would hope. So for example, I have this Darth Maul with all his textures. And if I were to want his textures, in my Maya scene, you'd have to go up to export and export the Blender add-on for the geometry and then go to Collada and export a Collada separately. And that will give you a folder with all of the textures in it. And unfortunately, it doesn't automatically populate or anything. You'd have to convert your geometry into an FBX, open it up in Maya, treat it in Maya, and then one by one put in the textures. And when it comes to like advanced texturing, like here you can see the scratches scratch over the paint. It starts getting really complicated. This is what it looks like. There's a bunch of layered nodes. Okay, so I have this file that I created with the pens in the pocket and the tie, and then that's merged with a layer node so I can choose a color of the shirt. And then the scratch texture is also pumped into there. And I'm not going to go into detail on how to do it. Um, I'm just going to edit it. So this is blue and the tie is red. Right here is a hue shift, I believe. Okay, so hue shift. Oh, and if you select this little check here, you can see specifically what texture you're seeing in the render port. That's what you're seeing. Let's give him, there we go. Give him a red tie, make it more saturated. Now in the layered texture, you see red on red, and that's not what you want. I'm going to take this layer here and I change it to uh, blue. Okay, that's too vibrant, so more of a teal blue, darker brown. There, that's fine. Yeah, that probably will look good. Off. Uh-oh. But underneath the scratches, you see red, which is kind of a cool effect, but I know that that has to be a darker blue. The top layer would kind of lighten by sun damage. You cut into it, you get more of a more saturated and darker. Uh, let's see. You know what? I think I'm going to give him a darker blue shirt. That looks better. But I do need to take care of those scratches. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Oh, why are the sleeves red? Grab a sleeve. There we go. Cool. So now I have my blue hat guy and then I have my red hat guy for my little car short film. As for all this information on how to make layers and textures and everything, I am not the person to go into that because I feel like I would just be copying other people's tutorials. So I'm going to refer you to, just go to this channel. I'll put a link in the description and he has a lot of Lego tutorials. Watch this one, watch this one with the Millennium Falcon. Uh, this one will give you a good idea of how to make the, the textures and how to convert the textures you get from the FBX into a Arnold texture. Very helpful tutorial. Definitely give him a subscription. So yeah, that's it for today. I just wanted to answer all your guys' questions about the textures. It doesn't come in automatically. There's a bunch of different steps you have to do, but I hope with this information, you'll be able to figure it out. It's kind of like a brute force. But anyway, have a good one. I'll catch you in the next video.